Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So, today I am doing my Bath and Body Works semi-annual June 2015 haul. I will point out this is probably going to be haul number one. I'm not going to say that there will be a haul number two, but there's a small possibility I might go get back and get more crap just because it's Bath and Body Works, and this is like the best time of the year to buy stuff. So, I do want to say... Straight off the bat, I'm not trying to brag or showboat or anything. I'm very lucky and fortunate for everything I was able to get. Um, I got some really, really good deals, so I kind of just hopped on it as fast as I could and got what I wanted, and so on and so forth. Um, I will say this is going to be a very, very, very long video. I'm putting that out there now. I did buy a lot of crap over, like, a course of a few days. So, this is going to be my long semi-annual haul. So the first thing I got that I want to show you guys is like I didn't go in there for this. I happened to find it when I was hunting for other candles but it is the gelato candle. And this is just the single wick. I believe these are the four ounce candles. Yeah. I got the gelato one. This was a summer scent from a few years ago and excuse me I fell in love with this scent when it came out. Um, and then I kind of forgot about it a little bit. And then a year ago on the same annual sale, well, almost two years ago, so not this past same annual sale, they had like Christmas, but the one they had before that, I bought like a year before that one, I should say. I bought a wallflower of this and I really, 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 really liked it. And then I couldn't figure out what it was. And then when the same annual sale came around last year, I took the bulb back to Bath and Body Works said, tell me what this is. They told me it was gelato. I bought a shit ton of wallflowers then. And then last time annual sale, they didn't have nothing for gelato. At least I was able to find. And then this happened. Um, and I will say, I love this scent. Its scent description is a creamy, bl a creamy sweet blend of raspberries and strawberries with an effervescent sponge sugar finish becomes the perfect fragrance and perfect fragrance, fragrance indulgence. Wow. And it's kind of just like a really creamy, it's very creamy. It's also very berries, but it's also got a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overly anything. And it's just kind of, I mean, it reminds me kind of an ice cream shop, but not at the same time. I really, really, really like this one. And because of that, I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I bought nine of these. I know nine was a bit excessive, but they were like $1.40 a piece. These retail for like $10. Um... So, I figured I was just going to buy the store out. One store I went to had four of them, and I bought all four there. And then I went to another store, and they had five of them, and I just bought them. Like, it wasn't even like a, oh, should I get this many? I already have four. I mean, no. It was, I'm buying all five, and yeah. Next, I'm going to go continue with my candles. And this, I literally call me crazy, but at the same time, my friend Donna, who... I've talked about her in many videos before, but she's created a monster out of me, and she told me about the 75% off candles, which I didn't know about right away, because I, I mean, I'm into Bath & Body Works, but I'm not, like, extremely into it as much as I should be, and probably am going to be, um, but I didn't go at the beginning of the semi sale to my local Bath & Body Works, so I missed out on the 75% off candles they had there, and then I had to track down 75% off candles, because, uh, she, Donna, told me that, you know, there are some really good scents in them. So I drove two hours south just to go to a Bath & Body Works store that was a test store to get um, some of the, like, the scents. And then on our way home, I went, and I'll show you guys which one it is toward the end because it's down there. But there was one scent that I super wanted, like, super, super, super bad, so I drove another hour. And I got lotion on me now. Um... Drove another hour on the way, like, about, well, okay, about a half hour out of the way, on the way home just to get this one candle. I ended up spending 
more. So, I bought a lot of candles, I will say that right now. Um, for one of the first ones I got was Watermelon Lemonade, and it's in the Summer Sips collection line. And I will say that um, each, like, each one of the Watermelon Lemonades is a little bit different. I know they have one out right now that's kind of, like, I have a Beautiful Day candle farther down, I'll show you. It's kind of got, like, a similar packaging. But, um, each one's a little bit different, so I got a Watermelon Lemonade in that one. And then I got this one, which is called Champagne Toast. This one smells similar to gelato. And it's not exactly like gelato. And I bought two of these. Another one is right there, burning. These things smell amazing. I love this candle. Probably am going to find try to find more of this candle just because it's super good. Um, next one, I got this one just for my husband because he likes these type of scents. Nothing against it, but this is bourbon butterscotch. It's very much a bakery scent. It says, This creamy blend includes rich notes of butterscotch, sweet vanilla, and a hint of uh, singularly American spirit bourbon whiskey, perfectly aged oak barrels. It just smells like, like butterscotch and vanilla. Like It's a super like sweet type scent, and if you don't like sweet type scents, you won't like this one. Got this one. This one wasn't 75% off. This one was only half off along with a couple of the ones I got were only half off, but my husband liked it, so I figured he was worth it. And this one is Pecan, or Praline Pecan Cobbler, another bakery scent. This one's a little more like pecan and carbolate. Indulge in warm caramel cobbler with sweet crunch of pecan nuts and sparkling cinnamon sugar. It's pretty much exactly what it smells like. It's super like bakery and like foody, and that's what he likes, so I got him that. And then I got another one from the Summer Sips collection. This is Sparkling Berry Fizz. Um, this is add some sparkle to your summer afternoon with this blend of sweet elderberries, tart black currants, and bubbly sparkling water. This smells like almost like a... It's got like a weird soapy scent to it. But it's not like a soap. It's almost like a... Uh, I want to say like a berry drink or a berry, like, it's kind of like a clean berry, but it's not like soapy. I almost want to say it's like a, that sparkling water or whatever it is, adds that kind of like, if you've ever smelled like tonic water, that's kind of what it's got going on here. Um, this one, what that one was 75% off. This one was also 75% off, and this was from the Pumpkin Cafe Limited 2014 collection. This is Pumpkin Sugar Donut. Fill your home with a fragrance of freshly baked pumpkin donuts made with autumn sugar, spice, and everything nice. This literally smells like pumpkins and spice and, like, sweetness. Um, another watermelon lemonade, and like I said, this one's got, like, a little bit different packaging on it. Um, this, I did get for 75 off. It smells a little bit different than the other watermelon lemonade, but they do smell similar. And I believe I heard somewhere that Watermelon Lemonade is becoming one of the signature collections. So, there's that. These two next ones were both just half off. This one's Beautiful Day. The, there's a Watermelon Lemonade candle out that is in this packaging, but it's pink. Like, the, the candle's pink, and then this label's pink, and it says Watermelon Lemonade. And this smells, like, this it's fragrance thing says, bring a fragrance of... Bring a fragrance as beautiful as a perfect spring day in your home. Sun-kissed apples, wild daisies, and fresh pink peonies. This smells like apple blossoms. Like It's got like a little bit of like fresh apple, but it's also got a little bit of floral to it, which is really nice. Um, this one also, like I said, was half off, and this is the Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. This was another one of those bakery scents that my husband really, really liked, and I got it for him mainly because I really liked this lid on it. So, there's that. Um, this one, I already went through that one. This one is Pink Passion Fruit. This one is from the Fresh Pick Collection. Um, this says, amazing, this amazing juiciness of island fruit inspired a combination of vine ripe and passion fruit, and guava, and sugar cane. It smells so good. Like, it literally smells like passion fruit, but it smells so good. It's just the kind of, like, light fruitiness that I like without it being overly powerful. 
Now, this next candle I bought two of, and I will say this was the candle I drove like further out for, like on the way home just to get. And this candle, it's London, it's called London Calling. And the first store I went to to get 75% off candles had every other, this is from like the travel collection or whatever it was, and um, Let Destinations Go, I think is what the travel, the, that collection was called. But I literally bought, like they had every other city, like Hawaii and like every other city that was in the collection except for this one. And I wanted this one. It says, it's just like, it's scent description is tea and lemon, like down here. And then underneath it says, a royal blend of tea, lemon, and sugar. Great combinations from across the pond. I love the smell of sweet tea. I bought two of these literally just because they're so hard to find. Like, I found them on eBay for like $110 for four of them, which is ridiculous to me. Now, I will say I really, 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 really like this candle. Like, way more than one person probably should like a candle. So, if you live in the United States and you have a Bath & Body Works near you and you can find this candle for me, we will have to talk because I want this candle. Like, I want more of this candle, but I don't want to spend $110 on it. Like, if they're 75% off and your store has them, you can get them for a really good deal. I believe the next couple days is the last of the 10 off 40, which is how I got a lot of these. But there's still some other coupons rolling around. So, let me know. We'll talk. We'll see what we can do. If you can find this. I bought two of them. I want more. So... I want to hoard this candle so I never run out. Like, I really want this candle. Um, now we're going to go into, like, the body care stuff I got. I picked scents that I really, really liked. And then kind of just, like, the ones I really liked, I got more stuff for. The first thing, I like it. My husband likes it. My husband really, really likes it. And that's why I bought six of them. But it is the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone Soap. This literally smells like, it's like on the side it says a blend of marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel. This is the foaming hand soap. Oh my god, it smells so good. Like it literally smells like vanilla and marshmallows and like caramel. Like it's perfect. We bought six of these. Like, I don't know if I can even like get all six, five. I have five up here. Like, and then there is two or one downstairs in the bathroom. So, we got all those. And then, shower gels, I got the Cool Amazonian Rain Shower Gel. This, um, explore the rush of tropical rainforest and drench yourself in cool Amazon rain. Amazon rain, Brazilian star fruit, fragile panty, exotic mandarin, and dewy bamboo. This smells so, like, fresh and tropical and wet. And I love it because it has that kind of, like, smell of rain that I really like. So I love this, and I even got the lotion for it. So, like, we got that. Um, another thing I got the lotion, I got the Cucumber Melon Lotion. So this was, they brought back some of the 90s, like, fan favorite scents. They brought this back, Pearberry, White Tea, and Ginger, Plumeria, Country Apple and something else. I don't remember. But I got this one because I loved, loved, loved Cucumber Melon when it came out. That was like my scent. I got Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss in the lotion. This smells like the, the back says, Golden Sand Beaches, Sparkling Blue Waters, a Tropical Paradise awaits you. Say aloha to, the Hawa to an unforgettable getaway in the breathtaking Hawaiian Islands. Keynotes of... Kona Mountain Passion Fruit, Luscious Kiwi, Hawaiian Red Pineapple, Papaya Blossom, and Cream and Macadamia. I got the lotion, like the normal, like, uh, Shea Vitamin E lotion. And I also got the Aloe Gel Lotion. I really, really like this gel lotion more than I thought I was going to like it. So, and these were 50% off, I think, or 75% off. I don't remember what I spent on these, but I know I didn't spend very much on them. Um, and then I got... We'll continue in this. We got the Amber Blush Lotion. This smells like perfume. Like, I really can't... It's just kind of very feminine and very f fruity, but kind of perfumey. An exclusive Amber Blush fragrance captures the sensual warmth and luxury of a romantic getaway. This ultra-feminine scent is a sensual blend of raspberry champagne, gardenia petals, 
Magnolia Blossoms, and a Seductive Kiss of Crystallized Amber and Vanilla Suede. I got the lotion and the shower gel for this because they were super good and they were 75% off. So, I figured, what the hell, why not? Like, I, I'll use them, so... Um, the other thing I got, and I wish they had, they only had this in the shower gel and, like, the stupid bar soap, and I don't like bar soap, I despise bar soaps, and this is the Ocean Melon and Mango. This smells so, like, it's, like, clean, but at the same time it's wet, but at the same time it's almost, like, candy-like. Um, summer, the summer dot... It's this summer, dive in and make a splash, dip your toes in the water, enjoy the perfect summer breeze of with ocean mango, ocean melon and mango with key notes of juicy honeydew, frozen mango, water hyacinth, and cucumber flower. Smells so good. It, it's like, it's got like this weird kind of like clean, but also kind of like, it reminds me of like a hard candy and I can't think of what hard candy. It doesn't remind me of like a Jolly Rancher, but it like smells so good. And I love the color of the like the actual like liquid in here. Um, I got two lotions. Well, one's a lotion and one's a sugar scrub for one the lotion and the sugar scrub for Twilight Woods. This um, the triple moisture body cream and then the golden sugar scrub. Twilight Woods fortified with the exclusive triple moisture complex. Um. Twilight Woods, a hypnotic blend of apricot nectar, mimosa petals, Tuscan cypress, and ins inspired by the enchanting warmth of woods at twilight. So, this is like a signature, was a signature scent through Bath & Body Works, but they're discontinuing it. They're not going to carry it anymore. So, while I could, I got the lotion, the triple moisture lotion, the shower gel, or not the shower gel, the sugar scrub, the body mist, and... I even got the perfume for it, and I got all this for 75% off. Like, each one of these was 75% off. I think I spent, like, 6 bucks on the perfume, which are, like, 34 bucks normally. So, I got the perfume for this, and I love it. I'm probably not going to use it very much just because I don't want to, like, use it all and it go away, and I can't get it again without, like, searching eBay and spending a crap ton of money. Into my, like, vast array of shower gel... Er, Body mist since I already kind of broke into that with the um, Twilight Woods. I got the Midnight Pomegranate Shower Gel. It smells so good. It smells like pomegranates. I got this one, the Strawberry Bourbon, Strawberry and Vanilla. It smells so good. It smells like strawberries and bourbon, like in vanilla. Like it's perfectly named. I got the Brown Sugar and Fig, which it smells good. I really had a hard time smelling this one when I got it, but it smelled good and I liked the packaging. Um, cool Amazonian Rain. Like I said, I really like this one. And like these, I think I don't think I actually spent more than like three fifty on shower gel on any of them except for like two. Um, I got the American Apple shower or spray. This kind of smells like country apple. But it's a little more, um, sweet on the apple side. This is, like, a new scent that they're launching, um, in July. But they had it, like, previewed out for semi-annual sale. Um, Country Apple, like I said. Smells like apples, but it's more like a, fl a floral apple. Um, I got the Pearberry Shower Mist, or s Fragrance Mist, whatever you want to call it. So good. It's, like pears and berries and like this was like my iconic like old time bath and body work sense besides cucumber melon my sister got me the lotion for this and i think i actually still have like the old time lotion for it speaking of old time lotions i almost forgot about this one i got the dark kiss lotion literally when i bought this i could not remember why i bought it because I bought this online, and I could not remember for the life of me why I bought this. Like, something was in the back of my head, like, get Dark Kiss, get it, get it now. And I wanted the shower gel for, the, or the, sh the, the mist for this, but you could only get the mist in the kit, and the kit wasn't anywhere near as good as this was. Uh, like, price-wise, I could not figure out why I wanted this, and then I was talking to my friend Finn last night, and this smells like, um, Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears, and I freaking love it. So, and then I got the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss Mist. 
yet again, so good. Um, I got two of these, the other one's downstairs. I think I literally got this one for me, and then my husband said he liked it, and I picked one up for him. This is Pure Paradise. It's very aquatic, it's very fresh. It smells so good. Um, then I got Cucumber Melon and the Mist, which this is probably going to be like my hoarder scent. I'm probably not going to use this very much because I don't want it to go away. I got the Amber Blush Fragrance Mist. I got the Carried Away Fragrance Mist. And I got the Lush Pink Dragon Fruit Fragrance Mist. This was from the same collection the uh, Cool Amazon Rain was from. And then one of the last things I got that I have up here is this... Uh, the pocket back for watermelon lemonade. I love the smell of watermelon lemonade. I wish there was more stuff in it. Like, I know there's like a. I'm pretty sure that there's like a. But, but, uh, hand soap for it and some other stuff for it. But it's all I really found it when I was there. It smells so, so good. But, I will say that I bought a lot of crap. Um, I still have. When I was 75% off candling, I got, um, my roommate a black tie candle. Because he really liked it, so I got that for him. And then we also got, my husband got like a mini, like the itty bitty tiny um, candle for pe pumpkin pecan waffles. Because he really, really liked that one. And I told him it wasn't worth the two bucks, but he wanted it anyway, so he got the two dollar candle. So, there you guys go. There's my ridiculously long haul for what I got from the semi-annual sale. I will say that, like I said... I'm probably going to go back and get more, but I'm going to try to lim limit myself to just, like, simple things. Like, I really want to go back and get an Endless Weekend candle, but I'm going to watch myself because if I don't, I'll probably buy, like, a crap ton more stuff. So, there you guys go. There is my haul. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A, the S Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, um, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.